Hello everyone, welcome. This is Jackie from Jackie's Craft Table, and I'm going to be playing with the new quarterly release from the Not Too Shabby Shop. And today I am focusing on this beautiful stencil. It's called Pumpkin Patch Background Stencil. And I'm going to make up a few cards using this. So I chose a piece of very subtle pattern paper. It's kind of a cream. It has little hash marks on it. And I'm going to put this onto my sticky mat and then put the stencil over it. I'm gonna use a little bit of tape this time just to make sure it stays in place. This is mint tape from scrapbook.com. I love this stuff. And I'm using some orange archival ink. I'm going to go row by row. So this row right here is going to be orange. And the next one is going to be green. And they're just going to be orange and green stripes. And I'm not worried that they're kind of overlapping onto the other pumpkins. So some of the orange will have a little bit of green in it, but I like that look, it's okay. And then let's see how this turned out. Oh, it's turned out so pretty. I'll bend the sticky mat and then I can just gently remove the pattern paper. I am going to be cutting this down a little bit for my first card. I'm going to pull out a rectangle die. These are my postage edge dies from Spellbinders. And this one just has a dotted edge to it. I'm also going to use this orange pattern paper with the spatter marks, I love this one. And I'll use a larger die to cut that out. I'm also going to use this standalone die set called I Love Fall to cut out even more pumpkins. And this is where my sentiment is going to come from. So this quarterly release is called Fall is Coming and is just packed with beautiful products for your fall time card making. I'm going to cut out three pumpkins. They're all different sizes. I'm just using my little sidekick die cutting machine. And I'm cutting these out with some more beautiful pattern paper. This large pumpkin I'm going to cut out with this beautiful gold glitter pattern paper. And I love that they have the three different sizes. There's so many fun things in this little set. I'm going to use that pretty ombre brown paper to cut out my sentiment. So this die here says blessings. And I want the top of the word to be light brown and the bottom to be more of the dark brown. So I'll run this through the die cut machine. And then the second sentiment will say fall. And I want this to be really dark, so I used a dark portion of the pattern paper. I'm just going to tape that in place so it doesn't shift. And here it is, it's such a dainty word. It looks so pretty. So here is the A-L-L -L of the sentiment. And then the little F is separate. Okay, now to put this card together, I'm just going to use my tape runner to start layering these pattern papers. So here is the orange, and I'll put that on the white top folding card base. And next will be my stenciled piece. And everything is just going to go down flat on the card. I'll start putting down the pumpkins next. The largest one I want in the center. And then the other two will be layered kind of in front of it. I still have scraps from my stenciled piece that I'm going to keep and use for another card. Now that my pumpkins are in place, I can put the sentiment down. I'm just using little dots of liquid glue behind these. So I'll put down the blessings and then the fall sentiment on top. I love using different fonts for my sentiments on my cards. I added a few of the sparkly enamel dots from this release, and here is the finished card. The enamel dots have a very low profile to them, but they're so sparkly and pretty. For card number two, I'm going to again use my sticky mat, and I cut out a piece of teal pattern paper using a, an arch die from Spellbinders. 
And then this is smaller than my stencil, so I'm just going to stick my stencil right onto the mat. I'm not going to use any tape. I couldn't find my small um, palette knife, so I'm just using this large one here. And I was a little bit too rough with the pattern paper, so I did scrape it a little bit. So if you're going to use your lunar paste on pattern paper, I would just suggest being a little more gentle than I was with this. This is Guppy Orange Lunar Paste from Simon Hurley. I love his lunar pastes and now his solar paste. They're really pretty too. Once I have a good coverage, I'm going to take off the stencil and clean everything up. This dries pretty fast. And look at that shimmer on the pattern paper. It's so beautiful. So I'll set this aside. I think I let it dry for about an hour, but I don't think it actually takes that long. Now let's put this card together. My paste is dry. I have another piece of orange pattern paper and a piece of Dune cardstock from Spellbinders. The sentiment is going to come from the Fall Days stamp set. And I'm going to stamp the one that just says Fall Days are Fun Days, and it has a cute little acorn and a pumpkin. I'm stamping this out with some blue ink, but I do later change it for a dark brown ink. I'll use the coordinating die to cut this out. I'll have another video out soon where I'm going to play with the adorable critters from this stamp set called Fall Days. There are so many beautiful things in this release, and I'll have all of the products listed in the description box if you want to check them out. I'm also going to use some ephemera from this release. This coordinates with the pattern paper, and they're both called Fall Love. I cut out a strip of pattern paper, and I'm going to attach it to the Dune cardstock. And then I can flip this over and cut off the overhang. Next, I'm going to add my stenciled piece using more tape runner. I'll put this down, overlapping the strip of paper a little bit. And then I'm going to cut out the pumpkins from this ephemera piece. I just want the pumpkins. And this piece will go behind the girl with the scarf and the umbrella. And these are going to go down flat too with more tape runner. All of the ephemera in this release is just beautiful, but I think this one is my favorite with these pretty girls and their long hair and their scarves. This one is holding an umbrella. Some of them are holding coffees. I'll put her down first, and then I'll know where to put the pumpkins. Just kind of tuck them behind her. And then I can put my sentiment down. And I wasn't happy with the blue ink. I'm in the process of moving still, and I thought I had packed more ink, but I didn't. And so I had to order some more brown ink off of Amazon. I'll add a little bit of orange ink to this top right corner just for a touch of fun. I added a few more enamel dots, and here is the finished card. I really love how this one turned out with that bit of shine from the stencil. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I encourage you to check out this gorgeous new release called Fall is Coming over at the Not Too Shabby Shop. Take care, everyone. Bye.